Hello and welcome to Lee and Ali building Black Swan. Bit of a different location today, we're at home. So um, we're going to go through something which we'll see what you think on what's been sent to us. I'll reveal that in a minute. So um, what this is, is Dave, our main man who's been helping us for the last few weeks. He has kindly offered to do a CAD drawing for us for our steps to the on the bow. As we were in a bit of a quandary of how to um, situate them, uh, how many steps, what, what to do. So we've had a big discussion and, it, and he's kindly offered to do a CAD drawing. Well, he sent the CAD drawing through to us. Very so quickly. Yeah, so what we're going to do is we're just going to show you the options that he's worked out and why we've opted for the one that we're going to opt for. I'll, I'll give a basic on what, what we've got here. So let me go back to one of the others. Right, so option one, this is step option one, which is now, I will show you. That, so these are the steps here. So above the steps here is actually the bow doors. So it just gives you an idea of what's what. So bow doors are here. So this green um, object here is the is going to be a wardrobe. And this is the bed. And obviously that runs along the wall. And this is the bulkhead. Isn't that so a little as, Ottoman box yeah, there? Yeah, so, as you, yeah. so just, just as you come down, this will be the walkway through to the other part of the boat so just to give you an idea so this is option one which is uh, as you can see is four treads four steps um so at the but they're going to both of the options that we got we decided that we wanted to turn rather than come straight in and down so they're going to be a, a turn to the steps so this one as you come down um obviously wardrobe there and then uh, the bed is here. Now we're going for a, uh, a small double, which is four foot wide and um, and standard uh, length. It's going to be an Ottoman style, isn't it? And it's going to be, yeah, and we're going to build that. So it's going to be Ottoman style. Um, so at the base of the bed, we've got a little bit of a gap. Um, so what we're going to do is this little section here is going to be like a, a small storage unit so i don't we haven't decided yet whether to do it with a like an ottoman style lift up or have that um secured and access it from under the bed which is going to be ottoman as we said so that's one option our other option is number two so again it's very similar um again this is obviously from the bow doors wardrobe still remains the same bed remains the same but it's just three steps obviously that means the steps are going to be deeper um but what this also gives us is a tighter turn which allows us to have a larger storage area at the base of the bed or the foot of the bed um now, obviously, they're the two options. It's Hobson's choice, really, isn't it? Um, um, but, but we've had a little discussion between the three of us, and we have decided to go with... Da, da, da. Number... One. So we're going to have four steps. Yeah. Um... I think it will be better uh, for accessing in and out. Um, the other thing we want to have a word with Dave about is possibly, because we're going to have, this is going to be the head of the bed. So possibly raising it just very slightly if that can be done. So um, the blood doesn't rush to your head, does it then? 
Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how that's going to work, to be honest. Yeah. I'm not sure. If anyone Cause... came up with any suggestions, please do. But... Well, yeah, I don't, I don't really know. Because uh, obviously, with it being an ottoman, it needs all to be flat and square mm. when it's raised and, and, and um, flat. Yeah. So, um, but I like, just don't know. But anyway, we just thought we'd show you something a little bit different. Um, that's all. Far too technical for me. <laughs> but, um, yeah. It took us a while to work out which way round it was. We, yeah. we thought those were the bow doors there, but they were actually the wardrobe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but, like I say, it, it's, it, it's, an, it's slightly different. I'm, I know there are boats that have got this type of scenario, um, but we just thought it's something a little bit different to the norm because most are just straight down, you know? So... Yeah, so that'd be quite nice. Um, also, what it does is it does allow you to hold on uh, as you're going up. This this section at the end here, it does allow you to have somewhere to put your hand just to steady. What on the wardrobe? No, no, on on this. Oh, on this okay, here. yes, yes. So. Uh, by the time I finish this build, I'll probably need every aid possible to get me in. <laughs> You'll need a bike. ramp. <laughs> <laughs> and a hoist. A stunner, stunner um, stair lift. That's what I'll probably need. <laughs> anyway, that, that's, anyway, so we just thought I'd show you that. So that is going to be the next bit of construction done at the boat. Um, so it'll be the steps and the, the creating the bed base. No. Oh, and uh, we went out looking at mattresses. Um, we're kind of yeah. swaying towards the Simba mattress, but if anyone out there has hybrid. a hybrid. hybrid Simba, yeah. if anyone out there's got the hybrid Simba, we'd really appreciate your feedback. Yeah. Um, or if you, you know, or another one that's as good or better. Yeah, we've looked. We looked at. We looked at a few, didn't we, uh, Emma? Um, I know online they're talking about one called Nectar. Um, I know there's a few others, but I don't really know much more about. Them. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, yeah. Any any um, preferences and, and advice or whatever, much welcome. So uh, yeah, I'll leave it at that. So um, um, if you could please like and subscribe, we would be very much appreciative of that. And we will see you next time, but in a different location, which will be back at the boat. <laughs>